friends welcome back to my channel and today um, is my comparison between the Karen Dash Neo Color 2 and the Sergeant Art watercolor crayons so before we hop into this let me get my disclaimers out of the way and then let's see what let's see what we can do of course before I get started I do have those disclaimers to get out of the way I live near a major highway here in the country of Belize, so you will hear those motor vehicles in my background where I live. There's also a lot of wild birds. You'll definitely hear them crying, chirping, and calling, chirping, and crying in the background. And thirdly, I have dogs. I have dogs. My neighbors have dogs. So if anyone comes in this neighborhood, you will hear those dogs, including my own, start barking. And Fourthly, I am not feeling well today. I think today is the better days of how I've been feeling for the past week. So I'm trying to get some videos out. So just excuse me if I feel a little tired and exhausted because that's how I'm feeling right now. So uh, let's hop into it, okay? Okay, so uh, I have here the Karen Dash Near Color 2. I think this comes in up to 76 color range for a 72 let me double check on the grocery I still have the grocery here um yeah it comes up to a seven fifty colors there's 50 colors in this entire color range I thought it was 72 but no 50 colors and what I have here is the 15 color set and then I have here the 24 set of these Sergeant Art watercolor crayons. Now, from what I've read, I think this the, the most I've found in this set is 36 or 48. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. But I think it's um, 36 I found in these color sets. Now, I haven't seen any sets that is bigger than a 36. And so if there's 48 uh 60 or 72 out there i probably won't know and in this color range i it says here 50 but i'm not sure oh 84 there's 84 colors in this entire color range of the current dash near color too and but i have the 15 sets here so first what we'll do is we're going to look at the swatches that i made out and then what I'll do is I'll because I'm working with these two pictures here, I'll try to color match this with this and try to make it as close as possible. Okay. So first let's look at the swatches. These are the swatches for the Karen Dash Nail Color 215 set that I have. As you can see, it does give me a good selection of an orange and yellow. One of the things I always look for in any water um in any color range of mediums that i buy i always look for a yellow and an orange a warm and cool red and i always look for a warm and cool blue so those are the two things i always look for and the next thing i always look for is their selection of greens and earth tones and so as you can see this does give me that luxury and that's why I chose it and I didn't want to go with the 84 colors. But I think that's way too much colors for me. Now at my local art store, they only have this one here, which is a 24 set. And let me open it up. And as you can see here too, it does come with a selection of a warm and cool yellow, a warm and cool red. Um, I believe this is the cool red. This is the magenta in this um this selection here and it does come with a warm and cool blue it does come with a whole lot of greens I mean there is five greens in this selection and it does comes with its collection of earth tones so yeah as you can see it does these does come with its selection that I always look for um, another thing that I should mention in these sets is that I would consider this the more high-end brand just because it is Karen Dash, it is European and it's not sold here in the least. And I believe that this is the more student-friendly brand. Now, Sergeant Art and Karen Dash are not the only companies in the world that make watercolor crayons or watercolor pastels. Um, other companies has made their variation or 
um, of these as well so basically I'm not saying that this is the buy-in and in all of it you have to get these too I mean if there's a company out there that is more affordable for you and you want to get it by all means go ahead okay okay so this is a just a normal plate normal plastic plate that I found at my local grocery store and I just wanted something like a miniature butcher tray and I think this works perfectly uh, one of the tricks I did is kind of use sandpaper and I kind of sand the inner parts of it so it'll be so it can use it to grab onto paint much better okay just to let you know why this is here okay so that's what I'm going to be using this for this is my palette anywho let me start my color match in here so for this I'm going to have this here I'll definitely be using this blue out of here um, definitely going to be using orange I'll definitely be using brown it's a salmon pink but I don't want someone pink. I'm definitely using that brown. And definitely using a green and some dark greens here. Because I'm doing the turkey. So those are the colors I'm looking at. Um, the only color I don't have here is a red. And I'm looking at the scarlet red. I'll just put it here just in case. So um, I'll be using six colors. Okay, so what I have here is um, the Karen Dash on my left and the Sergeant Art on my right. So I'm just going to do a quick swatch just to kind of see how these look. Now, I, I said I was going to have six colors, but then I chose to add a warm yellow in the mix. So it's up to seven now, so that's about it. Just swatching these out. Now these are really creamy colors. They're very, very creamy. And I really do enjoy using these a lot. I mean, they gave great color payout. Just swatching them out right now just to see how beautiful they are these are so creamy you don't need a lot you know to really show the color variety here you really don't let me just put the brown somewhere here they're so creamy I say, I say that a lot now the sergeant art the sergeant art is not as soft as the Karen Dosh one but I kind of prefer that firmness to be honest because these I feel like I'm gonna break very easily with a little pressure whereas this one I could add a little more pressure to it without fear but still yeah um, it's also soft as well so I don't think it's not soft and as you can see the colors going down is also very bright I'm gonna put the brown I wanted to put the brown right in the center here just like right put it here yeah now I'm gonna wet my brush and let's pull some color out yeah I haven't used these for some time, like maybe five months now I haven't used these. Put a little too much water there. But I really do enjoy using these water soluble crayons. I love this watercolor effect. With all due respect, I don't think the Karen Dash is light fast, so I won't bank on it. Especially because it doesn't have any light pass information on the barrel of these so I don't think they're very light pass but they are beautiful I 
Okay. So let me finish swatch these up and I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, so as you can see, it's still pretty much wet, but these are the colors that I'm working with. And yeah. They are very beautiful. Now, I cannot say that the Karen Dash is brighter than the Sergeant Art or the Sergeant Art is brighter than the Karen Dash because with all due respect, these are not the, exactly the same colors. I mean, maybe the yellow is, I guess, the, and the orange, but this is orange number three. This is vermilion. The blue that I'm using here is actually a turquoise blue. The green is emerald green. This is yellow green. So the yellow greens are the same. As you can see, the Sergeant Art yellow green is way more brighter than the Karen Dash yellow green. This one here, these two here. Um, the yellows are the same. Here, the Sergeant Art yellow is more lighter than the Karen Dash yellow. The Sergeant Art Orange is more brighter than the Karen Dosh Orange. I think those are the only colors that are the same, has the same color names. All other colors don't have the same color names because this says Emerald Green, this is Emerald Green, this is Brown, and this is Vermilion. Well, this is Scarlet, this is Dark Brown, this is just Deep Green, and the blue here is called Light Blue. So they're not the same color names for those. But as you can see, yeah, so each um, different range have their own. You know, the Karen Dash is a little more, it's not as bright as the Sergeant Art. And, you know, this, and the Sergeant Art yellow is not as bright as the Karen Dash is yellow. So, yeah. So now let me get to the illustration. Okay, so um, if you're a member of my Patreon, you will have this as your coloring pages. This, I believe, was for November. And, uh, yeah, so I'm trying to complete this book here. And, yeah, I think this is also a part of the free coloring pages, too. So, let's get started. So, I'll start first with the Karen Dash, and then to the bottom is the Sergeant Art. And, uh, I'll see you on the flip side. color 2 is on the top the sergeant art watercolor crayons is to the bottom and let's look at these closer um i didn't have an opportunity to use the green or the greens in this so i just kind of put it in the eyes but basically i'm not necessarily looking at colors but more let me put on the light but more um, concepts and how these colors interact and I think we have a very good illustration here of how this can happen um, when you look at the blues especially the blues here um, I cannot say yes this is brighter and this is brighter because in truth there are two different shades of blue um, the Karen uh, Dash gives us one shade while the Sergeant Art gives us another shade and it both comes out beautiful um, what I can say is that, yes, there is some lines here, and I think this is a dry brush. 
And yes, there is some lines here from where I didn't dissolve the ink completely. But at least here, the ink, at least, well, the pigment, I should say, the wax it within the wax, the pigments within the wax dissolved almost completely versus this where I was actually scratching and scratching. And you can see, you can still see some ghost in, <clears throat> in this. Sorry, whenever I talk too much, my throat starts hurting. Um, some ghost in here. So you can see that there's like only one line. So the pigment within the crayons, I would say is different. That's one thing I noticed. But then again, this is a higher end watercolor um, pastel. And there it is, ghost in again, ghost in, ghost in. Um, ghost in again, especially where the the, the 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 crayon went a little too aggressive there is a lot of ghost in um another thing i would say in doing these two is that when it came to taking pigment directly from the crayon these behave completely differently the karen dash pigment came off no problem very easily with these um, I think I said it in the review videos of the Sergeant Art. I really had to scrub in there. I mean, I, I'm sure you guys would have seen it in the video where I actually had to scrub and try to take off the pigment because let me get this one here. Um, look here, you can see this white film here. This kind of prevents you <clears throat> from taking off the pigment. So you really have to scrub in there very aggressively like I did here. So yeah, it is, it, it becomes frustrating. So you really have to scrub in there versus the Karen Dosh. Let me get a color. This doesn't have any kind of white, white film on the pigment. So it doesn't um, take that hard to take pigment off this or color off directly from the pencil. That's the, my only pet peeve with the Sergeant Art. But then again, the Sergeant Art is designed to be a more student art friendly kind of supply so I would expect it to behave as a student art friendly kind of supply so it's not necessarily a downtrodden on this this is doing exactly what it's designed to do um the colors are bright the, the unsatisfactory for me maybe it's a little dull or so for other people but like I said it's not necessarily a color match but all in all, I did enjoy doing this experience. I do enjoy doing this comparison. Um, I'm not saying guys go out there and get the Karin Ashnia color too. No, am I saying guys go and get the Sergeant Art watercolor crayons. Just buy whatever you feel comfortable buying. This is just my comparison to see how the two behaves in all good fun. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. As a, And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.